How's it going? How are you? Good. Good. It's been said that your O-line sets the tone for your, your entire team. That's still the case, would you say? Yeah, I would say both fronts. Okay. You know, I think that's the case for most teams that, um, you know, are successful this time of year. I'd say both fronts are usually the, the guys that drive it around this time of year. Okay. It seems they've had their hands full with Sask in the three meetings this year. Uh, and looking at Brady's numbers and just in general, uh, what have you seen from how you've done? I don't know if, a, if one player's stats are reflective of how no. the game's called. Like, depends on whether those plays are deemed efficient by our offense, so. So how would you deem your offensive efficiency against Sask this year? Well, we've managed to win a couple games, so. Yes. Yeah. That's all that matters. <laughs> That's all that matters. Where do Efficient. You see, where do you see areas of uh, all most over. improvement? All over, yeah. Um, you know, from the first game, ball security, uh, probably need a couple more stops in the next couple games, right? Uh, I don't know how many field goals we kicked, honestly. But I don't think there's a game that goes by that win or lose that guys aren't looking to improve. I mean, that's once again, we talked about it earlier in the last week. It's the goal of every team in every sport is to be better the next time you're out. Yeah. Last game out, you, you described Lucky's uh, punt return as right on time, you know, mm. perfect timing. Um, what was that a product of? Is it just that once in a while one breaks, or no? Was that a product of this that unit, the blocking unit, getting to a level that it hadn't been at before? Yeah, and some of it is, you know, how the ball lands, how how far it goes, right. you know, the timing. Special teams plays the the timing of returns, the timing of the blocking for returns is. <laughs> It's hard to get down. It's hard to uh, get it down exactly right in practice, you know. So it just sort of all worked out. Everybody was in the right spot at the right time. They finished their blocks appropriately. Uh, the way it opened, you know, Lucky just had vision to it and was gone. So I know we wish he looked over the other shoulder to see, but uh, that's okay. It worked out well. We ended yeah. up scoring on that play, so. So I'm just wondering if it means you can not count on, but it means that unit is at a level that it hasn't been at heading into this. Yeah, game. everybody would like uh, like more return yards. I think what probably the way we would look at it is um, you know are we providing the spark when we need to, or keep the momentum. You know, are we stopping the other team's momentum when we have to? And you know, the timing of the you know, conceptual timing for the game. And then are we maximizing our yardage, right? If there's X number of yards in there, let's get X plus one or X or X plus two, right? Let's not get X minus five, right? Afternoon, Coach. How you doing? Hi. Uh, Stanley Bryant is making the 21st career playoff appearance on Saturday. Um, most among, I think, any active player in the league right now. How does a guy like that play that long at a position like that? How does he? Well, he's the best ever. Um, technically, uh, obviously, extremely proficient, sound, excellent. Um, and he's got the will. I think some guys might not have the will to, to do it that well, that long. You know, and then because football is the, the best team sport, he doesn't do it by himself, right? He's he's, he's got to have everybody around him playing well too for us to get that many opportunities at playoff games. That's actually a pretty good segue because uh, I was curious. Do you, do you think that? And I'm going to ask him kind of maybe a similar question, but um, when you play that long, do, do you think that motivation has to like almost change in a way? Like maybe you're not playing for the same thing. At the beginning of your career, yeah, as you I, are at the end of your career, I'm pretty sure guys mature as they go through. There's, you know, a handful of guys over time that you understand get it. Even as a rookie, they understand it, the magnitude of things and the importance and why they're doing things. 
why they're putting in the hours. Um, I'm sure, given Stanley's excellence, I'm sure he understood it pretty quickly as a young player and has had it for a long time. Do you learn any, I know you're older than him, but do you, is there anything that you're able to learn from him <laughs> over these years? I'm sure there is. I'd have okay. to think longer about that. But. Okay. Anything, uh, maybe I'll ask you like this then, is there anything that immediately comes to mind when you think of Stanley Bryan, maybe an immediate takeaway? Yeah, I, I guess if I go back to when he first signed with us, that, uh, and I can't tell you why he signed with us, I haven't asked him. He probably asked him a long time ago, I don't know. Wouldn't remember the answer maybe, but that uh, as an organization, we we're very fortunate that he chose us. I mean, he's been a cornerstone piece for this organization for as long as he's been here. I am not Derek Taylor. Um, Excellent. But subbing in for him, next man up. Uh, Mike, with the context that, you know, you had the momentum in 2019, haven't played the week before, but with this being the fourth time now hosting the West Final, over that time, has your preparation changed to meet health, circumstance, that sort of thing? Yeah, we're always looking at, you know, trying to change things up for the better. I mean, but not just for the sake of change. I mean, you know, it starts with talking to Al and Braden and making sure uh, I have a good picture of the health of the team and where they're at fatigue-wise and what we think they can handle and then pair that with what the coaches need in terms of uh, the amount of reps for the to be prepared to be fully prepared um, you know that's those are the conversation starters right about those ideas and you sort of put down a paper and and it has changed over the years but it's really based on this particular team not any other team right and the circumstances we're in how did we get to this position right the unusual weather has that factored into any maybe change of of preparation we were talking about it and none of us can remember a, a double digit western final on the prairies yeah. temperature wise i don't think you know no no i don't think it changes anything you know both teams are, are would be prepared for snow if we got it right so nicer weather it's doesn't matter really and just to further to paul's question about uh, the, the running game against Saskatchewan this year, uh, everything's about adjustments. Uh, has that been, uh, I know you're not going to tell us the trade secrets, but has that been one of the focuses of getting ready for this particular matchup? No, the focus every single week is the same. It's we're going to do whatever it takes. We're going to have enough plays on the call sheet for, for Buck to roll through. And, um, you know, in a very short order, we're going to figure out you know how they're trying to attack us and we're going to pivot our game plan and our calls to figure out how to attack them back.